Friends, after a very impressive Faith Chapter 1, we now move on to Chapter 2. As you can see, I have changed the background to fit with the transition to a new chapter, and I'm excited to see what it's got in store. For those of you that are new to this playthrough, I would encourage you to check out Chapter 1 first so you know what's going on. And keep in mind that this is not a 100% playthrough by any means, this is just my playthrough. And I hope that's okay with you guys. I do it because I want to keep the pacing fresh and stuff like that. Plus there are a bunch of 100% videos already out. So we can just enjoy this one at our own pace together. One of my favorite things about the horror genre is its ability to surprise the player. And this game in particular has continued to surprise me. And I think that's what makes coming together for these playthroughs such a special experience. Because whether or not it's a scare or some sort of twist in the story, we're surprised in some way. And not only is that exciting and thrilling, but it brings us together, so to speak, sharing in that experience of being surprised by something. Maybe that's why people love watching other people play horror games. It's kind of a broad question, but let me know what you guys think about that. However, without further ado, here we have Faith, the Unholy Trilogy, Chapter 2. Okay, here we go. Um, we look like we're in a really run-down apartment. Now, um, if you didn't see Part 1, or if you need a refresher when we're in a room like this all these objects that are um you know the same color and consistency as the room basically it's stuff we can't interact with so we already know right now we got to go over to the note father garcia you are hereby instructed to release michael davies from your custody and return him to his home immediately mr and mrs davies have already been contacted by our office a representative of the church is currently en route and en, en route on route I don't know how to say that. Is currently en route to their home to discuss compensation in return for their discretion. You will meet our representative there and accompany him back to Rome. Cardinal Gifford. Okay, so can we possibly check out this Bible here? One day. We seem to have pictures all over the apartment. Two weeks. Three months. Is this the monster that we've... That tried to attack us at the beginning of chapter one? I don't think we're playing as the same priest. But I don't know that for sure. Don't quote me on that. So, some sort of documentation of... This is Michael Davies, right? Oh, this is twisted. Reveal thy name to me. So basically, the demon has physically transformed Michael? And we've been trying to... ...exercise him for weeks! Did the power go out? Michael? That was 100% the creature that attacked us before. Oh. Oh, and he took this picture. Wow. I wonder what this... Oh god, I love these scenes. I have the Did he say I have the body of a pig? You shall drink the wrath of the Almighty. I have the body of a pig? Is that what he said? We've Okay, this is the I think this is the priest from the first game. 
We've been keeping Michael at that house, or that, you know, Father Garcia was keeping him at that house, continuously trying to exercise this demon that obviously was not letting go of Michael. Wow. Have you forgotten already? The notes people leave behind seem to exist on the edges of memory. Pressing the escape key or the start button is a good way to remember... Uh, to remember what you don't realize you have forgotten. Okay. Can't remember. Oh! That... Noticed. The... Sorry for hitting the mic earlier. The current investigation being conducted at Gallup Cemetery by the State of Connecticut Historical Society has been postponed until further notice. In the interim, we ask the public to avoid the cemetery grounds, the surrounding woods, any wildlife, and any unidentified persons roaming the area. Thank you for your patience. Interesting. So we're going to a church now? Oh, a cemetery, okay. I wonder if any of these gravestones will let us kind of interact with them. Oh, there we go. I knew one of them would have to have something. I shook hands with the devil. I looked him in the eye. He looked like a long lost friend. The devil. Dearest disciple, verily not everyone who says Lucifer, Lucifer shall inherit his kingdom. You must first conjure his demon. You must then serve his demon. You must then walk among the children of men as his demon. Thus shall you receive the blessing of the unspeakable. Return to the saved family tomb whenever you're in need of rest. Okay, so I imagine that that is our... Enter the spirit house? Oh. Okay. And there's different symbols on them. I've seen these symbols before. What did that just do? Did that do anything? Does this save the game? Interesting. I'm not sure if the game has, like, manual saves like that? Maybe just entering lets you save? I don't know. Let's go ahead and take a look around here. Obviously, these three spirits kind of fled off in different directions. So do we need to conjure Lucifer's demon? Is that kind of what that note was hinting that we do? Interesting. I say that a lot. Interesting. I, I noticed that when I was going back and watching some of my videos. I was like, man, I say that an awful lot. It is with great sadness that the Sterling community announces the passing of Cindy Marie Martin, 38, and Robert Kimball Martin, 40, devoted husband and wife and beloved parents. Their lives tragically came to an end on September 21st due to an accident in their home. Bob was a training advisor for the United States Navy, and Cindy was a CPA, and more recently, a stay-at-home mother. They were married March 12th, 1969, in Voluntown. Though not particularly religious, they taught their children to be kind, generous, and involved in the community. A public, a public closed casket memorial will be held at Tillengast? Tillengast Funeral Home at 10 a.m. Thursday. Burial services will proceed shortly after. Bob and Cindy are survived by their daughter Amy and twin boys Nate and Jason. That's the family from the first chapter. Not going on. Okay, this skull looks kind of suspicious. Oh. Okay. 
Was that one of the spirits from the save room? I'm not sure. Questions for later. We'll see. Okay. I am being followed. Keep an eye behind us. There's, like, a blood trail following us at times. Um, I'm not sure, because this game, like, the enemies that appear can actually... I'm an angel. I'm an angel? No, you're not. I'm just slightly faster than it, so I need to get some distance. Okay. Dude. Gonna be hearing that a lot. That was uh, basically the word of last playthrough. Just uh, Mortis over and over again. All right, let's try that again. So there's not really like any sort of quick reactions. All right, let's give this a shot. This time I'm only gonna move backward. I'm not gonna move toward the guy during his phase two. There we go. Alright, let's focus here. Good. That's definitely the right strategy. I didn't catch what he said. I think that was one of the spirits. Nobody was thrilled when I got pregnant, not even a little happy. Even my doctor seemed to be judging me. Each time I'd leave the doctor's office, I'd see this strange woman across the street. All she'd do is stare at me and smile. No words, just a big, warm smile. Somehow it made those visits a little more bearable. After I lost the baby, I saw her again across the street from the doctors. Her smile was as big as ever, but somehow not as warm and friendly as I remember. Yesterday I was walking and was shocked to see the woman standing in the middle of the path. Now she was pregnant. She beckoned toward me. I followed her off the path into the woods. That's when I met Gary. Okay. And we're gonna get probably a cryptic story like that with each of these. Yes, that was one of the spirits. Because that first person was a woman who was sitting there. I remember that. Oh, and one of those lights is out. So there's four that we have to take down, basically. And then the man in the mirror, I'm assuming, will give us the key he has. They look like they're kind of like pointing in different directions. But I'm not 100% sure. Are these like foggy areas or something? Okay. Oh dear. Oh, it's it's telling you the order. Hmm. Okay. Let me just head down here and see if maybe there's Oh. What the hell was that? Like a cat? Is there a cat I have to take down? Okay, let's try that again. I know for a fact that this has something to do with... Maybe it's the height of... Hmm... Jesus, I can barely see him. I guess Jesus can't help me now. Come on. We can do this. This this is... These enemies are so challenging in this game. Or maybe I'm just terrible at this sort of thing. I don't know. I'm 
I'm just trying to... I don't know where he is. I don't know where he is. It's like a cat. He's so fast. Is that a cat? I don't know what that is. Losing grandpa was the hardest thing I ever experienced. We were really close. I cried about it for weeks. Then my stepmom introduced me to some of her friends. They asked me, would you like to see your grandfather again? I missed him so much, I was willing to try anything. That night, my stepmom drove me to one of her friend's houses. They took me down to the basement. I saw my grandfather in there, only it wasn't actually him. When I tried to run, they closed the basement door and locked me in. I can't remember much else from that night. My stepmom's friends are always coming by the house now. They tell me I have a debt to pay. They say they have work for me to do. Okay, we have some missing craniums of some kind. All right. Okay, so here's a theory. This guy, this guy's also on a pedestal. Is he pointing me this way? And maybe it's based on the height. So it would be, it would be right up, left up. Let's try that. Let's just see if that works. That was right. Okay. Oh, that was definitely right. Okay. That guy was much easier, but he was like, I don't even know what he was. I've been freed. No more overbearing father turned violent alcoholic. No more hiding my bruises and cuts. No more pills and needles. No more getting laughed at and kicked around. They'll never laugh at me again. By day, my body withers away, but by night, my mind explores forbidden worlds of power and knowledge, guided by beings of pure darkness. I've been trusted with secret knowledge of the demon seal. I have learned the I've learned the correct conjuring sign, drawing the inverted star along the rocks arranged in five, first at the top left point, and then down. I will lure them into the woods, then I will show them my power. Okay, so that's all three of the spirits. Okay, this guy changed the bed. He like melted or something. Here we are. Do you have a key for me, sir? Oh, or you're just... Okay. Whatever way you need to give it to me is acceptable. Let's go ahead and save. Good. I don't know why he had to be so dramatic, but, you know, we'll take it. We gotta go up through this gate anyways, and now we're... Am I bleeding? By proxy, did he stab me in the eye with it? Wow. Okay. I like that effect. It kind of took, you know, caught me off guard, though. Okay, the Great Deku Tree. One of these trees is not like the other. One of these trees does not belong. I know you're in here. Is he not here? Little, little gamer just ran by in the house. She guards the door to underground purgatory. I hath not seen her children fear her. Uh, I'm not sure who she is. Oh.
I'm not sure who she is. Should I follow the purple gamer or go in here? Confess thy sins. Day one of our paranormal investigation into the old Snake Meadow Hill Church. We've got three cameras, a box of tapes, and enough beer and beef jerky to last us a week. On our way in, we asked some of the locals about the church. It was mostly the stories we've heard before, evil spirits dragging children into the cornfield and secret tunnels under the chapel. But there was this spindly lady game that we hadn't heard of yet. Apparently, it has to do with summoning the spirit of a woman who used to take care of the orphans back in the 50s. There is even an old rhyme, they told us. Walk the church from room to room, and maybe you will see her. She will move when you do, but never try to trick her. Awesome. We're going to try the game tonight as soon as we get settled in. I don't know what that means. Oh. I'm noticing that there's candles on the floor. Is that supposed to tell us, like... What? I don't know what those candles are supposed to tell us. But it's definitely something. Oh, interesting. I'm not sure if they're supposed to look like that, or... If they've been, like, damaged or distorted over time. And I don't know what that is at all. I think the candles keep changing. I'm kind of paranoid, I'm not gonna lie. I feel like something's gonna jump out at us at any moment. Watch the candles. But what do they mean? But what do they mean? All right, we'll pay attention. They definitely change every time we enter a room, but they're not the same depending on each of the rooms. Right, like, they won't be in that position every time we enter this specific room. Purple skull. Night three. Shouldn't have come here. Tape's missing. Lars stuck behind basement door. Henry hasn't come back yet. Can't leave anyway. Oh boy. So... Their little project went very south for them. Okay, can I confess- for me, father, for I have said. I tried to save a girl from evil, but my fears overcame me. I turned my back on the ministry and broke my vows to God. A year later, the girl reached out to me again, but in the end, I couldn't save her. I left her to die. I am sorry for me and my past sins. Thou hast said will. Here is my penance. Bring the child to me. Perform the set of the attrition. And thou shalt have the peace thou seekest. Give thanks to the Lord for him to. For his mercy and yours forever. Gives me flashbacks for having to do reconciliation, uh... Back when I was getting confirmed as a Catholic as a kid. Um... So, that explains why our character returned to that house. She reached back out to him, but obviously he couldn't save her. His fears overcame him. Okay. This one. We just need to be careful. Wait for the right. Yeah, it's kind of hard to get hits in here, but we can do it. Just... Need to... Man. Come on. All the way up there, we got it. 
Oh, come on. That was a ton of damage. Let's go. Come on. There we go. Nice. Got her. So now what? Night one, we still haven't found a way into the basement, but we found something just as cool. A secret passage in the old confession booth leading to this hallway. Henry's going into town to buy a crowbar. We'll see if we can't get these boards off of some of these doors, but that's not even the best part. We caught an EVP. You can't hear it on tape very well, but to us, it kind of sounded like laughing. Thank God we brought this nice mic. We'll review it on... We'll review it on the sound gear once we get back into the room. Or back into town. Okay. Do the candles have something to do with where the ghost is located? Did we just kind of get lucky? I think we might have gotten lucky because I think the candles were supposed to help us with the puzzle. Oh, okay. Let me go save real quick. And I actually think that that's a really good place to kind of, um, oh, never mind. It's not letting us save. We'll keep going. I was going to cut it there, but we'll, we'll keep going. See what we can get into. Darkness surrounds thee. Okay. This is my final memoir hastily scribbled on a page of the good book. I now descend the staircase knowing full well that she waits for me ahead. Checking my old watch has revealed something quite astonishing. Time doesn't change down here as we know it on the surface. Even now, the hands don't move past two. God's work be done. I have been to where only the faintest light shine and protect things from unspeakable. God help me, Father Clark, a foolish old man, going mad in this dark prison, ears bleeding from the screams of the demon. Well, I'm not feeling... too confident here. Again, some of those symbols we've seen before. Mortis. What? I have no idea what just happened. Okay, let's take a good look at this again because obviously it's telling us something. I want to take a look at my notes again. Current investigation. I know there were instructions here. Um... Trust with secret knowledge of the demon seal. I have learned the correct conjuring sign drawing the inverted star along the rocks ranged in five. First at the top left point and then down. Hmm. Top left. Inverted star, so... Are you supposed to, like, trace it or something? Let me see. Okay, I think that probably is a good place to stop for this episode. I had a feeling this one might be a two-parter, um, but we will see. It's uh, it's definitely tricky. We we came down the steps um, in the main area of the church, and uh, yeah, we can't seem to get past this puzzle, um, but we'll see. You know, uh, I'm going to kind of take a look through my notes again, um, and if it's something where I feel it's going to kill the pacing, you know, we'll see what to do and then move forward. Uh, yeah, Faith Chapter 2. We're going to continue in the next video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Love you guys very much. This is a lot of fun, and I'll see you soon.